Hi friends, today we are going to see Apache Camel Active MQ Basic Interactions like pushing and consuming from Q. Testing the application whether it is working fine or not. Just starting the application. It just started. Yeah, the application is working fine. It started up. So now we are going to add two dependencies that is started active MQ and active MQ pool. So just cleaning up the IntelliJ so, so as to properly fetch the dependencies. Yeah, the build is fine. Yeah, we got the two dependencies. So now we moving on to create the basic component. So we just create the camel resource as the component which is needed for implementing the routes needed for camel so annotating that component extending the route builder so implementing its methods configure method so starting up the first route so here as a trigger we are just using a timer mentioning is task Sample trimer. So here we can mention the period, or uh, or or we can say we can uh, we can, we just need to execute it once. So we just give it as a repeat count equal to one. So as it will execute only once. So when we just add a log starting the router like starting it so here we create the body or message which we want to pass into the active mq so already active mq is started in the behind so i have started it i have not shown but i have started it so just giving a simple message as the body content. So this body content will be passed to active MQ. So here I am mentioning the Q name. So this sample.q is already defined in the application.properties. So it will be fetching from there. It's, it acts like a constant. So I will be adding the GitHub link of this project so you can check over there. So now this is, this route is for consuming from the queue. So the first route was for pushing into the queue and the second one is for consuming from the queue. So we add like data consumed from Q and we will be just showing the body which we have consumed from the Q. So after the consumption, the body will be holding the data which is consumed from the Q. So here we will get the data which is consumed from Q. So and end of the route. So I think now we are good to run the application. Yeah, before before that we need to mention uh, mention the properties. 
So I'm just copy pasting it. So I have given the broker URL, username, password, and also I'm defining the queue name, sample queue. So this sample queue is what which we used over there. So this will be the name, sample queue will be the name, the active MQ. So just started the application. Yeah, see, here we can see we got the log starting router. So it data pushed to the queue and we have another log data consumed from queue that is simple message. So the simple message was the content which we pushed to queue and we also get it back from the queue. So we can check the queue. So in 8161, uh, the uh, active MQ is up. So here we can see there is no pending messages. But uh, it is because we, are, or we have already consumed it. So here we can see number of consumers and message enqueued. So that is one. So now we will be commenting out the route which is consuming from queue so that we can see the message over there in the active MQ itself. So just starting up again. Yeah, the first log printed starting router. We can check the active MQ. And refresh it. Yeah, so we got one message in the active MQ. So if we check, we can see it is the simple message which we have pushed into the queue. So thank you all. Thank you for watching.